welcome. I'm going to be um, unboxing my new selfie stick today. I had to buy a new one. Unfortunately, the old one broke really quickly. It was uh, just £10 from Amazon and um, it had plastic and the screw fixing just broke away and luckily I discovered it before I went out with my phone. Um, so I had a little bit of a look round. I wanted to get something that wasn't going to have the same weak spot. Um, so I went for the Clinique, I can't even say it, Clinique Fee maybe, selfie stick which Apple recommends. Um, I have had it out of the box and set up to do the photo so I can show you smoothly and I have some reservations so I'll let you know. Okay so we've got the box here, it comes like this, you just pull the little thing out and then you've got all your bits in there. The, um, the actual stick really appealed to me because I I've said on my iPhone unboxing I love design um, so that was, that was initially a, um, a pro point. Um, the other point that I was very keen on is that when you, this is where you attach your phone bit to, it's missing the weak spot that my last selfie stick died from. I've got this pop-up system and hopefully that won't in some way break. Um, this is plastic unfortunately, maybe the, the metal's in the middle there, hopefully that's going to help. So um, the phone just slots on. <clears throat> I've tried it with and without a case. It makes no difference when it's this type of case. Um, there is still this um, slight issue that ooh, it doesn't feel like it's gonna, and it's exactly the same without the case. Um, and obviously this is a design fault that they're trying to rectify because they give you this, which does seem to do the job, but Unfortunately, now you've got a bit of tacky plastic over your phone, which if I line it up wrong when I'm trying to video, it will um, stop me seeing the timer. And you, I don't know if you've noticed with our videos, but I pretty much always video for 10 seconds. Um, it just keeps a nice smooth shot and it's a short shot and easy for editing less, etc. So 10 seconds, I'm always counting that 10 second marker, stop, go on. So I'm going to have to line that up so I can see that clearly. Um, the other slight issue I have, and I'll probably show this better on the front camera, um, but when you extend it, and it's probably going to disappear off screen now, it feels unwieldy. Um, you've got it like this, and it has a tendency to tilt. And I've got that phone on as centrally as I possibly can there. And I don't know whether it just takes getting used to or whether it is the lack of grip on the handle, which obviously you don't have. But it, it generally, when you're holding it like that, it has that slight tilting um, mechanism there. Um, the other issue that I have with it is um, hot climates, sticky, sweaty hands, and whether that's gonna add to the slip factor. Um, when I'm filming normally, I just have it like this and hold it up filming. Um, that beautiful screensaver my daughter did. There you go. I can, oh, so when it comes back, I'll show you. You press it and it, it rotates through the colours. It's not going to do it for me now. I'll show you later. It's gorgeous anyway. Proud of my artist daughter there. Um, so maybe this is a better way to show you the slight issues that I was experiencing. Obviously, I'm not holding it quite as I would, but it just feels prone to that. I mean I don't film very often like this. I know it's a selfie stick and that probably is the point if you're buying it just for that. Um, for filming I hold it in this position pretty much all the time which just helps stability of the, the phone. Um, but I would film like this if I was trying to, uh, to talk to camera and also maybe a walk along and get a little bit of street scene and stuff like that. So there are times I would like it to be slightly more stable than it is. I'm even thinking, do I put some elastic bands on it? Just have that little bit of grip, which obviously isn't the point. Um, so there's that. Um, there are some clever features where if you set it up, pop onto, I've got this pre-set up so I can tell you how to do this. Pop it onto photo, you put the battery in your little gizmo um, it works via Bluetooth and to take a photo 
pop it onto photo mode obviously. So excitable getting your photo taken. <laughs> and then video, you press it and apparently it works up to 10 meters and you can see my issue with my counter there that I'm going to have to be making sure I can see that. Um, and it videos, which is really cool because that's now I was slightly disappointed because I'd looked at both models. There's a this was forty pounds in UK. Um, there's a sixty pound model, um, and I'd got a little muddled looking at too many reviews. And the sixty pound one has an indent, and it will fit into there this this holdy thing, or it will come out as you want. So not having that is quite annoying. But also, do I want to pay an extra twenty pounds? Yeah, I, I mean, I think I'm gonna keep it um, mainly because pretty much everyone else I look at has got this design issue possibility. Um, but I'm not 100% at all, and uh, I'd be curious to see how long it lasts. I'll let you know on that. So, continuing with the unboxing, one of my issues today obviously is that I haven't got my extra camera, um, and that is very useful that we've got a little tripod included that screws into the bottom. And then you can mount your mobile phone on a tripod stick and um, yeah, film away. And I've used that quite a few times um, on our Christmas vlogs and things like that. So tripod is in the box. The um, ouch. <laughs> the more upmarket one has a little has this as well as. A little poppy out tripod at the bottom which I, I get the impression the one that comes out the bottom and opens up there but I haven't seen it in real life um, so in the box the main selfie stick which does fold away very compactly and nicely to pop in your handbag it wouldn't scratch anything you've got the Bluetooth um, clicker that makes your photos all video start and stop you've got the design fault remedy the little holdy on thing which I'm thinking if you're doing an intense trip like we're heading off to Japan in April maybe get a few of those um, and we have got the tripod adapter which is very useful and the little um, instruction the colors color choices you know, I went for the silver um, it's just in pictures it's very simple to follow and how to get the wireless button going which I'll show you now so I'll just pop those away. Where did they live? There was also, the, the battery was just in the little top slot there, which I got, I got out to get it going. So we'll pop that all away, and I will show you how to set up the phone. Um, on the instructions, it tells you to go to your settings. I'm on Apple here, um, to open up your Bluetooth obviously mine is on already um, and then you get out your little clicker and you press it so the blue light is showing and it starts hunting for it and then it will come up the click fee and you you I believe you accept for it to connect on the instructions it then says wait for a pairing invitation that never happened for me and it wasn't necessary. Later on it said, if you're connected, you're good to go. So after faffing about for a while, waiting for pairing, it wasn't necessary. Um, and then that's it, simple as that. No app, nothing else to worry about. So um, very easy actually, even for me. <laughs> but, uh, so generally, um, slightly concerned that design has taken over more than it should have I mean it is gorgeous I mean maybe it's you know self-defense weapon as well not that I'm suggesting that um, I'm disappointed that when you get this out that isn't enough to hold the phone steady I mean I would have thought that was selfie stick 101 really and my other one which unfortunately failed at another point um, held it beautifully I mean I didn't have I could I mean maybe I'm being fussy but that is a little wiggle there I mean it is holding I think my my concern is that 
it feels like the slightest adjustment there, but then it isn't coming out. So, mm. someone knocking it in the street, that would do it. That would get it off there for you, which obviously would be a nightmare. But once you've got this on, I will pop it on again, just out of curiosity. I meant to do this for my own interest before. Pop the rubber band on. And then, oh, it feels, it feels so firm. I don't know why it's not holding it. I think it's just lacking depth. So now we've got this on, the safety device. Let's have a... It, does, it goes, but it still holds it on for you, so you're not going to lose your phone or crash it to the floor. So, yeah, it works, and it is that little bit of extra safety. So, yeah, all in all, good. Um, going to see how slippy that gets when I'm in a hot place. Um, I'll let you know, but fingers crossed, because I'd like it to last now. £40, it would be good if I could have a selfie stick that can keep up. <laughs> Okay, so had had a good run through. Um, hopefully it works and I'll let you know how it goes on. Uh, let me know if you've got one that's brilliant, you know, if you've got an old faithful, because I'd love it to last uh, 40 pounds. It'd be nice if it could last a while. Let's fingers crossed it can keep up with our pace. So see you soon.